why hello everybody so today we're going to talk about another level up and today i'm going to talk about the apps i use to prevent um fiddliness with my board games uh, i'm not a rich man so i can't afford to keep buying pieces that go missing so i tend to especially outside the home try to bring as little pieces as possible and one way i find that's a great help is by using phone apps um, my favorite right now is this one it was actually made for Space Hulk, not officially, but someone did it and praise to him. It's called Space Clock. And with all the apps I'm going to show later, I'll put in the link notes how I, how I found them. And hopefully, it, we make it easy to find these apps too. So first, let's get to um, Space Clock. Basically, you can set it like, to the max of three, min three four, 5 minutes or as little as 30 seconds. And I find this is really useful in like Carcassonne, where you know, um, you know, like analysis paralysis games and all that, where you don't need to take minutes to think. Thirty seconds is much more than enough, so you can just set it, and then you know, each person has like thirty seconds to make a decision. And if you're keeping track by different phones, you can even keep if different games up to ten. Although I use a different program for the um, scoring because Carcassonne can go over 100. But soon you see when it hits 10 seconds, this is when it's cool. Okay, and so you see that, I mean that bug and that sound tells you firstly gives them to know that they have 10 seconds left. And more importantly, it's like a stress level when they can't make a decision. On top of that, um, one problem I found was that you have to make the um, decision that whether when it hits zero, or is it when it um, has the four beats that are done, whether that's when his turn ends, you know. And that's one of the issues, but basically it's one that's easily solved from the start. And that's my favorite program I used to for like lighter games like Carcassonne with shorter time periods. To, uh, as a clock, mostly I have another person have it on. And for another program I like, it's um, for the scoring. And this was actually from Drive Through Reviews. He brought me to this. It's called Scorekeeper XL. And it's great because you, know, you can keep huge number of scores. And on top of that, you can you know like arrange it from like. You know, highest score one two three or three two one. You can even opt sound if you want. You can reset it. You know, like the scores, and more, the best part, you can add several. Like um, let's say toy, toy. You know, you see, you can add seriously. You can add um, I added over ten people before, so I think it's great to keep score all on one app. You know, that way you don't have like six, seven people handling one app and you can, if you, you know, if you want to keep a true score, I guess you get the most honest person to just keep track of everybody's scores. So it's very useful and you don't have like six, seven iPhones going off at the same time. And for the last one, I find this one is really good for school, um, two player games. Like, because it, it merges the space clock and the scorekeeper, but unfortunately it's only for two players. And the shortest timing is one minute. But it's really cool. Um, scorekeeper here, and it's, you see, you can go up to, the score can go up really high. I, I tried it, it definitely goes up to 100. And you can set the clock, you know, then it goes down. It's, it doesn't have sound, but like I say, for a two player game, uh, fantastic. And keep both, they're both in one app, like I say, less fiddliness, less pieces on the table, um, the better. So those are my three favorite apps at the moment, and I hope that it helps you anyway, especially if, like for most of us who aren't super rich. Um, as much as we can reduce the more pieces we bring to a game, I think it's really, really cool. Like even on this one, like for um, Elder Signs, you could take this one as the Sanity and this one as the Stamina. And also, you know, if you want, you can add the time o'clock if you want. I guess if some people are taking too long with Elder Signs, which I doubt. So, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you try it too. Till next word.